angel is saying to you, My beloved child, I am your heavenly Father, and I am about to reveal a profound and transformative message that will change your life forever. My celestial angels are reaching out to guide you, and within the next ten hours, you will receive an unexpected blessing related to your finances. Someone from your family who now resides in heaven is sending this divine message to assure you that this financial breakthrough is part of a greater heavenly plan. This is no mere coincidence. It is a sign of my grace and favor. The blessing you receive will be the key to unlocking new abundant opportunities in your life. Trust in this divine moment. Hold fast to your faith in me and prepare your heart for the overflow of blessings that are on their way. Miracles are manifesting in your life, and it's essential to honor and give thanks to the God of your heart who orchestrates all things for our highest good. Remember, my words are not mere utterances. They are a call to divine action, guiding you to embrace the fullness of my promise. Therefore, I invite you to like this video and remain tuned until the very end, where I will lead you in a sacred secret prayer. This prayer will open the door to even greater miracles and divine favor, inviting my boundless blessing into your life. The Lord is telling you today that you are about to enter a season of abundance where your hard work and dedication will be rewarded with an overflow of blessings. Be prepared for God's miracles are on their way. Stay open-minded as your life can change in an instant by focusing on becoming your best self in the present moment. Your future self will be greatly rewarded. It is in the present that you attract miracles. Envision yourself already receiving what you desire and trust that it is coming to you. Major shifts are ahead and divine timing is at work in your life. You are being prepared for something extraordinary and you can sense it deep within. That inner feeling is a sign that God is guiding you toward your purpose. Take a moment to appreciate your growth. Look at how much you have evolved since last year. You are not the same person. You have grown stronger, wiser, and better in every way. Each decision, no matter how small is building the future you wish to create, cherish each moment as it is shaping the path towards something amazing. God says, I am the God of restoration. Trust me, me, to bring beauty out of the ashes. Obstacles may arise, but do not let them defeat you. With God, all things are possible. Walk in the light of His Word, which guides your steps, as Isaiah 40.31 states those who wait for the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles run, and not grow weary and walk and not be faint. You, your prayers, hold great power. So approach God with confidence, expecting His miracles to unfold today. You will receive divine inspiration. Your finances will improve, and good news is on its way. You will also have a positive influence on everyone around you, sharing joy and light. You are a vessel of God's love, and through you, He will bring peace and blessings to others. Claim this message, trust God's plan, His timing, and believe that your prayers are being answered, your breakthroughs are coming sooner than you think. So keep walking in faith and be ready for the blessings ahead. Type 1, 1, 1, 1 to claim it. Dear child, have you ever wondered why you haven't been able to manifest? It's simple. If you're a spiritual person who is looking to change your life and that of your close circle, you need something different. 
Southwest, pay close attention to this message. Once you hear this one-minute prayer, you will start attracting wealth and abundance in less than seven days. Blessings will flood into your life. This one-minute prayer from Biblical Times manifests wealth and abundance into your life. Would you want it? Click the link below to know the wealth secrets of divine prayer to attract wealth and abundance into your life. God knows exactly how to connect you with the right people and guide you towards your destiny. Even when it feels like nothing is working out, God is secretly orchestrating events behind the scenes, preparing incredible plans for your life that will astound you. Unexpected blessings and opportunities are coming your way that will perfectly align with your life's path in this season. The things you've been praying about for so long are going to suddenly fall into place. Doors that were previously closed will open the right people will appear, and new opportunities will arise at just the right moment. These blessings will come from out of nowhere, and you'll know that it's God working for your good. During this time, it's important to remain faithful even when things, things are unclear. Trust that God's plan is far greater than anything you could have imagined as Jeremiah 29 11 promises God has plans to prosper you and give you hope in a future. Remember that He is always working for your benefit, preparing you for even greater things ahead when doubts or worries creep in. Remember that God has a perfect timeline and His timing is always right. Stay ready because what's coming will exceed your wildest dreams. You're not alone in this journey. God is aligning everything to bring you to your destiny. Trust in His timing. Trust in His connections. And know that He is working everything out for your benefit. When it all comes together, you'll look back in amazement at how perfectly it unfolded far better than you could have ever imagined. Type 999 if you believe God is revealing to you today that your aspirations are on the verge of becoming reality, and the impactful connections and relationships you've hoped for are forming before your eyes. Your persistent positive mindset, affirmations, visualization, and diligent actions are nearing their fruitful reward. The blessings you have eagerly awaited are about to manifest while while you may be looking for an external sign. Remember that God has already granted you the inner confirmation you need. Pay attention to the subtle nudges, the sense of calm, and the inspiring ideas that arise in your thoughts. They are divine indications guiding you toward your destiny. As you journey forward, know that God is orchestrating a significant change in your life. He is preparing to place you in an exceptional and transformative position that you did not even apply for. This is not a coincidence, but a direct result of your faith and dedication. God is currently creating opportunities and opening doors that you never expected would be available to you in moments of doubt. It's important to remember that God's Word provides reassurance for. I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope in a future. This promise is a powerful reminder that every step you take is part of a larger plan designed for your benefit and growth. Maintain your trust in this divine process. Even when the path ahead is unclear, God is working behind the scenes to align every detail to bring your goals into fruition. The new opportunities and blessings approaching you are a testament to your perseverance and the divine favor that surrounds you. 
your positive outlook affirmations and visualization have set the stage for this remarkable transformation. As you move through this pivotal time, be mindful of the signs and confirmations that God is placing in your path. Embrace the peace that comes with knowing you are on the right track and trust that each idea and inspiration you receive is part of the divine plan unfolding in your life. Your commitment has laid the groundwork for these blessings, and now it's time to prepare for the manifestation of your dreams, Type 222. If you believe in this divine message and are ready to embrace the blessings that are coming your way, your journey is about to take an extraordinary turn, and with God's guidance and your unwavering belief, the life-changing opportunities you've been waiting for. Just around the corner, God says, brace yourself for an outpouring of blessings that will astound you this month. Prepare for a financial miracle that has been tailor-made just for you. It's not merely about the money. It's about the profound transformation that's coming your way. God's hand is moving to open doors that have been closed to provide where there has been lack and to set the stage for a season of unprecedented favor in your life. But the blessing, things don't stop there, alongside this financial miracle. Be ready for an infusion of life-changing gifts, healing where there has been hurt love, where there has been loneliness and favor that will exceed your wildest dreams in the midst of waiting. It's crucial to hold on to your faith with unwavering confidence. The breakthrough you've been longing for is just around the corner, and the ease and relief you seek are on the horizon. This is a time to trust deeply and to remain steadfast in your belief that God's promises are true and coming to fruition. Remember, even when the path seems long and the answers seem delayed, God is working behind the scenes, reflect on the depth of divine love and sacrifice described in Romans 5.8. But God demonstrates His own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. This profound love is the foundation upon which all your blessings are built. It's a testament to the fact that even when we feel unworthy or uncertain, God's love remains steadfast and boundless. As you anticipate this season of blessings, let your heart be open and your spirit be ready to receive the miracles that are on their way. Are not just about changing your circumstances, but about elevating your entire life, life experience. Embrace this moment with gratitude and expectation, knowing that God is aligning everything perfectly for your good type. Amen. If you believe in the Lord Jesus and are ready to receive these blessings with open arms, beloved child, pray with me, Heavenly Father, in this sacred moment of stillness and reflection. I come before you with a heart full of gratitude and anticipation. You are the source of all blessings, and I humbly seek your divine presence as I open my spirit to receive your grace, Lord. You know the deepest desires of my heart and the quiet hopes that I have carried through times of joy and challenge. I thank you for the countless ways in which you have already blessed my life seen and unseen. Your love has been a guiding light, illuminating the path through through dark times and celebrating with me in moments of triumph. As I stand on the threshold of what you have promised, I pray for your continued guidance and favor. Father, I ask that you open the windows of heaven and pour out an abundance of blessings upon my life, 
May your divine providence manifest in ways that are beyond my wildest dreams. Let your financial miracles flow freely, transforming any area of lack into one of abundance and prosperity. Help me to recognize the opportunities that you present and to make wise decisions that align with your will. I also seek your healing touch. Heal any wounds in my body, mind, or spirit that may be hindering me from fully receiving and appreciating your gifts. Let your comfort and restoration bring me to a place of wholeness and peace. Surround me with your protective presence, safeguarding me from any harm and shielding me from any doubts or fears. Lord, fill my life with love and favor. Let the love I receive be a reflection of your unconditional affection, and let it flow through me to others. May your favor be evident in every interaction, decision, and endeavor, making your hand visible in all that I do. Help me to stay, stay steadfast in faith, especially in times of waiting and uncertainty. Remind me that your timing is perfect and that your plans are far greater than anything I could imagine. Strengthen my trust in your process and let me hold on to hope even when the journey seems long and the answers seem delayed as I await the unfolding of your promises. I pray for a heart that remains open and receptive to your will. Guide me in every step and let your wisdom illuminate my path, fill me with patience and perseverance, knowing that your blessings are on their way and that your love never falters. Thank you, Lord, for your infinite grace and mercy. May I always walk in the light of your love and reflect your goodness to the world around me. I claim the promises you have made, and I anticipate the miracles that are coming in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. I pray, Amen. God, thank you for giving me life and happiness for guiding me in the right path of peace and salvation. I love you. Thanks for watching to support our channel. Hit the subscribe button and be the first to know about new videos. You know, son, today I want to talk to you directly as a friend who truly cares. There is something important happening around you, something you need to realize before it is too late. There is a person, someone who used to be close to you, but now they are being consumed by negative feelings due to a small misunderstanding. This person is holding, holding a grudge and that grudge is growing every day, becoming a source of danger that could affect your life in ways you can't even imagine. I am here to alert you about this because the enemy loves to use these situations to create confusion, taking something that seems simple, almost insignificant, and transforming it into a trap that can cause great damage, but you with my help help can prevent this from becoming a storm in your life. Those negative feelings are taking control of this person, and they could end up doing something that seriously hurts you. In the next few hours, you may face a difficult situation, something that will test your patience and faith. So I want you to be prepared to pay attention to the signs and to seek my guidance. I know it is difficult to believe that someone who was once so close to you could be acting like this, but the enemy is cunning and uses these weaknesses to try to destroy what you have built with so much effort. That is why I am here to give you a chance to protect yourself and prevent this situation from causing greater damage. Remember God is my strength and my rest. Refuge Remember that you are not alone. I am by your side, ready to guide you in this complicated moment. What you need now is to strengthen yourself. Trust me and be willing to walk away from everything that could harm you. It is not always easy to make this decision, but it is necessary for you to continue on the right path. 
the path that leads to peace and happiness. Happiness. The angels are around you ready to support you, but you must be attentive there. Is a storm forming, and it can shake your life, but you should not be afraid of this storm. It can also be an opportunity for growth, a chance to strengthen your faith and get even closer to me. Sometimes, to preserve peace, it is necessary to leave behind those who are not willing to walk in the same direction as you. It is not easy, but it is essential. The person who was once important to you has now become a source of negativity. If you continue to allow them to be around, those negative feelings could end up affecting your life in a profound way. Your life is worth much more than any bond that brings pain and sadness. I want to see you free, living with joy and peace, for that it is necessary to cut ties with those who do not want your well-being. This may seem hard now, but it will protect you from greater suffering in the future. Believe that I am here to bless you, to guide you along a path of light and prosperity. But you must stay away from, from the traps that the enemy puts in your path. Those who choose to follow the path of evil only build illusions that will crumble before my justice. So stand firm, move forward with faith, and I will always be at your side illuminating your path. Rest in the peace of the Lord. Those who seek to do evil, trying to destroy the faithful, are only digging their own ruin. I am observing everything, and my justice will prevail. So do not be deceived by appearances. The light that you carry comes from me and will never go out. Trust me, son because I am here to protect you. Guide your steps, and ensure that nothing can extinguish the light that I have placed in your heart. Continue with faith, knowing that I am always by your side, blessing you, and preparing a future full of peace and happiness. These words are for you to strengthen you, and remind you that you will never be alone on this journey. I will always be with you now, son. I want you to imagine a bridge that crosses a deep valley. This bridge represents the path you are following, a path that leads to the realization of everything your heart desires. But on this journey, sometimes strong winds arise, attempts by the enemy to make you lose your balance and fall into the abyss of doubt and fear. These winds are the challenges you face, the people who tried to divert you and the situations that seem to have no solution. My hope is in the Lord. I see every step you take on this bridge. I see how the winds try to sway you, and I also see how you cling to the hope of reaching the other side. I want you to know that I am right by your side, holding your hand, helping you balance each step, even when the wind seems strong and the bridge shakes. Remember that you will never fall. You can only hear the whispers of fear trying to make you look down into the void that tries to drag you down. But I tell you, keep your gaze fixed on the horizon on the light that shines on the other side, do not allow the voices of doubt to make you stop. Every step taken, with faith, is a step closer to the victory that I have prepared for you in the middle of the journey. It may seem that the bridge is too long, that the arrival is distant, but it is at that moment when you need to remember why you started this journey. Remember that I am with you from the beginning. No wind is strong enough to take me away from you. Every difficulty is an opportunity to strengthen your faith and prove to yourself that you are capable of coming any challenge with my help. When the winds finally cease 
and you step firmly on the other side of the bridge, you will see that everything you faced was worth it, because what awaits you is a land of peace and fulfillment where the storms will no longer reach you. It is a place where your heart will finally rest, knowing that you have arrived where you were always meant to be. I see you there, son, standing with your head held high and your heart full of gratitude. When that moment comes, you will understand that every tear, every doubt, every challenge was a necessary step to becoming who you really are. A strong soul illuminated that overcomes, and darkness. When you look back at the bridge you crossed, you will see that you were not alone. I was there with every step, in every breath, in every beat of your heart. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his way. Psalms 37-23 this verse reminds us that God guides and sustains those who walk in His paths when you seek to live in accordance with divine principles. God not only observes your steps, but also confirms them. That is, He strengthens your paths, making them safe. This means that even in the face of uncertainties and challenges, you can trust that God is leading your life safely and firmly. The delight God feels in seeing you walk in His path reflects the pleasure takes in seeing you prosper spiritually and achieve your purposes. Therefore, walking with God is not only a journey of challenges, but also of joy for both you and Him. Trust that every step you take with God is a step in the right direction towards a future of peace and fulfillment. Remember that God is your God guide and protector. You are not here by chance. Your life has a special purpose. I created you with love and with a plan in mind. From the beginning, I already knew of every challenge you would face and every victory you would achieve. You are an important part of my plan. I chose you to bring light where there is darkness and end hope where there is despair. Do not doubt yourself, because within you is a force greater than any problem that may arise. I made you overcome difficulties, conquer obstacles, and reflect my love wherever you go. Now I want to tell you about the battle that happens around you, a fight between good and evil. Know that you are never alone in this fight, because I am always by your side, along with my angels, ready to protect and guide you. The enemy tries to deceive you into thinking that you are alone and that your struggle is in vain, but that is not true. The truth is that you are part of something bigger, and every act of kindness and every right choice help strengthen my kingdom on earth. This means that the courage I give you to face the challenges of life is not to be feared. Do not be afraid of difficult days, because they do not last forever. I am your refuge, the safe place where you can take shelter when everything seems to fall apart. Do not let fear or doubt take away the peace that I give you. Believe, son, that difficulties are opportunities to grow, to become stronger, and to see my presence in your life. True strength does not come from the absence of problems, but from the ability to overcome them. I know that sometimes you feel tired, that life seems too heavy, but remember that every challenge you face is an opportunity to grow, to strengthen yourself, and to see my hand at work in your life. I am here, son. I have always been and always will be supporting you and helping you get up when you fall. Now understand that the prosperity I promise is not only material. It goes beyond what you can see. 
It is a prosperity that touches the heart and fills your life with peace and joy. The blessings I, I have for you include healing, freedom from fear, and the certainty that you are deeply loved and protected. I love God above all things. This is the key to your peace, to your rest in me. I am the way, the truth, and the life, and I want you to live this life to the fullest without fear. But with the confidence that I am in control, every step you take may have curves and obstacles, but know that every step is guided by me. Trust my plan. And even when you don't see the complete path, I see what is beyond, and I know that the end of this journey is full of glory. Keep walking with faith, knowing that I am with you, protecting, guiding, and blessing each of your steps. My beloved son, I want to tell you something that perhaps you have not yet noticed, but that can transform the way you live. Kindness is like planting a seed in the heart of the one who receives it. That seed can grow into a flowering garden or a field of thorns, depending on who cultivates it. I want you to understand that kindness is not only about giving, but also about knowing who to give it to. Do not allow your generosity to become an open door for the enemy. He watches waiting for the right moment to take advantage of your purity and trust. See your goodness as a light, a light that illuminates but can also attract shadows. Not everyone deserves the warmth of that light, for there are those who live in the shadow shadows and only want to extinguish it. Protect your heart, protect your light, and use your kindness wisely. Do not allow those who live in darkness to take away the most precious thing from you. Life is a great mystery, and death is part of that mystery that few can understand. I know how difficult it is to lose someone you love. It is as if a piece of your world was torn away. But I am here to tell you that although the pain is real, it is not the end. Those who are gone still live in a way that you may not be able to see now. But one day you will understand, they are with me at peace. And one day you will meet with them. For now I want you to trust me that I am holding your hand. Hand even when everything seems lost. The Lord is my refuge and security is like a storm that arrives without warning. But just as any storm also passes, do not let yourself be consumed by sadness. Instead, remember the happy moments you shared, because those moments will never be erased. I am with you holding you firm, and I will not allow you to. To sink, my son. There is a secret about ambitions that few people know. They can be both a ladder to success and a chain that holds you, keeping you grounded. I want you to dream big to go after what you want, but never lose sight of what you already have sometimes in the race after a dream. You can run past something even more valuable. I'm here to remind you that the greatest blessings in life are those that are often right before your eyes waiting to be noticed. Don't let the thirst to conquer tomorrow make you forget the joys of today. There is a beauty in the present that once lost may never be regained. I call upon you to live in the now fully value every little joy and trust that the future will reveal itself at the right time in the way that is best for you. When you live like this, you will realize that true happiness is not in what you have yet to achieve, but in what is already in your hands, the angels warn that each step towards the enemy is a step away from the Creator in times of uncertainty.
when the temptation to make deals with people of dubious principles seems attractive, it is essential to remember the destiny of the biblical characters who made similar decisions. These stories frequently ended in disaster, not only for them, but also for their people. The angels encourage us to learn from these examples and follow a path of fidelity and moral integrity, wrap yourself in my being, and find serenity. What I tell you brings essential healing and freedom to your soul. Do not carry so much fear. A vast future awaits you full of happy moments with your loved ones. God has told you that he is a refuge and a strength, an ever-present help in adversity, when faced with the decision to A.E. with the enemy, seek refuge in God who can offer security and clarity. Sincere prayer and meditation on the scriptures open the divine channels through which the wisdom and guidance necessary to make decisions aligned with the will of God Flow, my child's spiritual life, requires constant vigilance. The angels speak, surrounding those who fear God and strive to protect the paths of the righteous. When when you consider approaching the enemy, remember that you are not alone. The angels are ready to advise and guide you, helping you avoid pitfalls that may seem beneficial but are destructive. God has told you that although life is fleeting, each experience has value and purpose in his greater plan. He asks that you not let fear paralyze you, but that you use each path as an opportunity to live fully love, deeply, and serve others with joy. God is with you every step of the way, transforming your fear into faith, and your anxiety into action. The angels are speaking, insisting that accepting the natural flow of life with its ups and downs is the key to overcoming fear. They encourage you to embrace every phase of life, trusting that God is acting in each circumstance, molding you to become a stronger and more compassionate person prepared for the challenges and blessings that await you. My son, remember that fear often hides reality. Painting scenarios that will never be concrete, face your fears with truths. You are our loved by God. You have a divine purpose, and you are never alone. These truths can dispel the shadows of fear and illuminate your path with hope and confidence. God has told you that he knows the desires of your heart and understands the temptations you face. He is always ready to guide you back to the path that leads to true happiness. When you feel the temptation to choose vanity instead of genuine good, seek God. In prayer, he will help you see the difference between the eternal and the fleeting. The angels speak, reminding you that life is a precious gift and that every moment should be lived with gratitude and authenticity. They encourage you to reject the vanity that blinds and embrace the virtues that illuminate by doing this, you will find a deeper and more lasting joy than any recognition or applause that vanity can bring my son. Listen to the words of the angels and do not allow the superficial brilliance of the world to distract you from the true riches that God has for you. The things that truly do you good are those that fill your soul with peace, love, and truth, not those that only offer momentary satisfaction of vanity. God says that everything on earth is temporary and that attachment to fleeting things can distract us from our true purpose and eternal spiritual riches. Learning to live with detachment does not mean not valuing what we have, 
but understanding that our true inheritance and security is in God who is constant and immutable, the angels speak and remind us that each encounter is an opportunity to do good or perpetuate injustice. They inspire us to be aware of our actions. Building bridges of understanding and cooperation instead of walls of separation and domination. My son, when you decide to explore the weakness of others, a shadow falls on your soul. True character is revealed in compassion and integrity qualities that bring us closer to holiness. Living according to these values strengthens our soul and transforms the world around us. Write 0808 and feel my presence. Let calm invade your being. My words are bombs that heal and liberate. Do not cling to fear, because there is a future full of joy waiting for you and your loved ones. God has said that He understands your weakness, and is always ready to strengthen and comfort you. Fear may be a natural reaction to uncertainties, but God offers a peace that goes beyond all understanding. He invites you to lay all fear at His feet and walk in faith, knowing that He will never leave you nor abandon you. The angels are speaking and encouraging you to look to the future with hope, not fear they see the bigger picture, and remind you that earthly life is only a part of the eternal journey of each soul. Focus on the eternal. You can alleviate the fears of what is temporary by focusing your mind and heart on what is truly lasting and immutable. God says that the adversary Satan is cunning and uses various strategies to mislead the faithful. It is crucial to be alert and strengthened in faith to not fall into his traps. The preparation of the soul involves constant prayer study of the scriptures and good actions that that protect the spirit against the attacks of evil. God calls us to always be vigilant, remembering that our adversary can even disguise himself as an angel of light to deceive us. The angels say that the enemy does not rest, always looking for someone to devour. They encourage us to develop a life of deep prayer and to frequently seek communion with the divine. The, the support of the angels is a powerful reality that strengthens our spiritual defense, allowing us to remain firm in the face of adversity and temptations that may arise unexpectedly. The angels warn that exploiting the vulnerable generate cycles of suffering and injustice that destabilize the entire society. They call on us to be agents of change, combating inequality and promoting social justice. Compassion and action are necessary to heal the world's wounds and build a community where all can prosper together. God has told you that He is the judge of all actions, and injustice does not go unnoticed in his eyes. Those who exploit the weak attract divine attention in a way that demands correction and repentance. God offers mercy and the opportunity for change, but also demands that we do justice and love. Mercy. The angels warn that every step toward the enemy is a step away from the Creator in times of uncertainty, when the temptation to make deals with people of dubious principles seems attractive. It is essential to remember the fate of biblical character who made similar decisions. These stories often ended in disaster, not only for them, but also for their people. I have a special request. Take a moment to listen to these words as they are for your well-being and the safety of those you love. We live in times of great change and uncertainty, and it is easy to feel lost. 
However, there is something that you can control your choices and actions. That is why it is so important to remember the old saying, better safe than sorry. In times like this, this idea is more important than ever. I ask you to listen carefully and reserve some time to reflect on this message. What is at stake is your safety and that of your family. We are all vulnerable to unforeseen illnesses. Accidents and disasters can occur at any time, although we cannot foresee or avoid everything. We can take measures to protect ourselves and our loved ones. Right? I trust God to affirm this belief in your heart many times. We only think about our health when it is already compromised, but health is a precious commodity without it. Life becomes much more, more difficult. Take care of yourself and your family. Choose a healthy diet. Stay active. Seek medical help when necessary. And do not forget about vaccines and preventive measures. It is also important to have an emergency plan for your family. This means having basic supplies, necessary resources, and a meeting place in case of disasters or emergencies. It may seem simple, but many people ignore these precautions until it is too late. Don't let that happen to you. Act now to ensure the safety of everyone. Remember the strength of faith and prayer. Regardless of your beliefs, faith and prayer can bring immense peace and comfort in difficult times. Take this message seriously and make the necessary changes to ensure the protection and well-being of your family. This is a wise and important decision. Right? I will take steps to confirm your commitment. Do not underestimate what God is doing in your life, even when it seems like nothing is happening. Keep hope alive, dream big, and believe that the best is yet to come. Sometimes you need to take a step of faith, and other times you need to stand firm in faith, even when you do not see immediate results. If God wants you to stay where you are, it is because there is something special waiting for you when facing challenges. Be careful who you share your path with. Not everyone will understand what you are going through, and some may even deviate you from the path that God has prepared for you. Your greatest blessing is on the way, and you must be prepared to receive it. W R. Zero six or six. If this message has touched your heart, Lord of hosts, I pray now for all who are reading this message that they feel your presence and know that they are not alone in their difficulties. God bless, restore, and strengthen each day. Dear, dear brothers and sisters, today we gather to reflect on the profound message of God. May our hearts be open to receive His guidance and comfort, and may we find peace and hope in His words as you move forward. Remember that each day is a new opportunity to strengthen your faith and make a difference in the lives of those you love. The challenges may seem immense, and sometimes the path may be dark, but do not forget that God's light always shines, even in the darkest hours. It is easy to let yourself be carried away by worries and fears about the future. Yet I want you to know that you are not alone. Every step you take and every decision you make is guided by the loving hand of God. He is by your side, helping to open doors and offering strength to continue go ahead, even when everything seems uncertain, W.R. God is my guide and always remember that even when you don't see the way he sees it, his plans for you are bigger and better than any plan you can imagine trust in his wisdom. Though the journey may not be easy, every difficulty is an opportunity to grow and get even closer to him. Find strength in prayer and meditation. 
Give yourself permission to feel express your emotions and seek support when necessary. Faith is not just believing that God exists, but trusting in His presence and power to transform. To have faith is to surrender your concerns to Him and be certain that He is working in your favor even when you do not see immediate results. Sometimes the answers we seek are hidden in the small moments of our daily lives. Pay attention to the signs that God sends a word of encouragement, a gesture of kindness, a coincidence that seems more than that. These are reminders that He is always present and active in our lives. Continue building and strengthening your connections with those around you. Share your faith and hopes, and offer your support and love. Your presence and actions can be a light for others, just as God's light is for you. Right? I am the light of the world, and live accordingly. Be an example of faith, hope, and love. By doing so, you will not only transform your own life, but also light the way for others. God has called you to be a source of inspiration and strength. It is in your own journey that you will find true fulfillment and peace. So stand strong, have courage, and keep trusting. The road may be long and the challenges may be great, but the reward of a life lived with faith and purpose is incomparable. Believe that God is preparing something wonderful for you and for those you love. May the peace of God that surpasses all understanding keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Keep moving forward with confidence, knowing that He is always with you, guiding you, protecting you, and loving you every step of the way. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Acknowledge Him in all your ways, and He will make your paths straight. Proverbs 3, 5-6 This verse teaches us the importance of trusting God fully and not relying exclusively on our own understanding or wisdom. We, we often face situations in life where we cannot see the solution or understand what is happening in those moments. It is crucial to remember that God has a greater plan for us and that He is in control of all things. Trusting the Lord with all our heart means giving Him all our worries, fears, and doubts, believing that He is taking care of us. When we recognize God in all our paths, we are seeking His guidance guidance and direction in every decision we make and every step we take, this trust and recognition result in God straightening our paths, guiding us along the right path, freeing us from errors, and leading us to a destiny of blessings and prosperity. This verse encourages us to abandon self-sufficing efficiency and trust in the infinite wisdom and perfect love of God. It reminds us that even when we do not understand the paths we are traveling, we can be certain that God is working for our good and guiding us towards a future full of hope and purpose. Sometimes life is difficult, but I am here to help you overcome those challenges. I, I am the peace that calms the storms and the light that drives away the darkness. Open your heart to me, and I will fill it with hope, joy, and tranquility. Let me be the force that sustains you, and the refuge where you find shelter. Trust me like a child trusts their father. Let me enter your life and make a difference. Believe that I can transform your situation and bring the joy you desire. I am at the door. Knocking the decision to open is yours. Let me in, and I will be the answer to your prayers, the hand that guides your path. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. Acknowledge Him in all your ways, and He will make your paths straight.
In the past, flee from sin. If you stumble, come to me with a repentant heart, and I will welcome you as you are. Yet I implore you not to revert to the chaos from which I once rescued you. Dedicate time to your family in prayer and immersion. In my word, avoid squandering your energy on pursuits that do not edify you. Trust that I will provide for your needs, pray for wisdom, and I will freely give it ready to perform profound miracles in your life. If you hold on to my promises and believe in my love and sovereignty, with this faith you shall prevail for. I have already overcome the world. Start each day with renewed faith and deepen your love for me. Progress unimpeded. Nothing will prevent you from achieving the goals I have set for you. Each victory begins with your prayers at my throne of grace. I understand the struggle to trust and relinquish control to my hands. It may seem at times that I am silent. Despite your prayers, dismiss such doubts and focus on my word. Pray, reflect, and recognize the blessings that fill your life in your moments of distress. I will guide you, uplift you, grant you rest, and bolster your confidence. I will inscribe my promises upon your heart indelibly and nourish you with my grace. Stay connected to me. Do not overlook my calls when I stir you to converse in the early morning hours. Don't muffle your ears with your pillow, nor let misleading news or distracting notifications usurp your time for prayer. Be courageous. Set aside the things that sap your strength, and when morning light filters through your window, bring your prayers and your tears to me. If you feel weakened, call out to me. If you're on the brink of despair, cry out, You are blessed when you open your lips to say with affection, My God, I need you. I will never forsake you. I will bless you today, tomorrow, tomorrow, and always. I am privy to the challenges you face in silence, those you share with no one, and I see your incredible bravery and perseverance. I admire your resilience and want you to know I am ever presents to support you. Though you may not see me know that I am safeguarding you with my holy protection and enveloping you in my unconditional love. Many have wrongfully told you that you were worthless and, and that you would never accomplish anything. But today, listen to the voice of your Heavenly Father speaking directly to your heart. My words are igniting a fire within you, providing a strength you've never known before. Believe in what I tell you. Hold on to these words of love tightly. For a long time I have instilled a piece of my essence in you. I have blessed you with my Holy Spirit. You've been honed, trained, and strengthened through numerous trials, and now you are poised to advance and succeed. Remain true to who you are. Do not recoil. I assure you today that soon you will witness many victories. The words I impart to you now are taking root. You've encountered hurdles that could have defeated anyone, yet here you stand unyielded. Do not surrender. I am by your side, ready to attend to all your needs, because I admire your determination, your effort, and your endurance each day. I watch as you tackle challenges with zeal and bravery which fills me with joy and pride. Yet I also see the hidden desperation and fatigue you feel, but keep from me to me nothing is concealed. I hear every silent cry that pierces the stillness of your sleepless nights. You have stood resilient, but now it's time to find rest in me. Hand over your burdens, your frustrations, your pains, your sicknesses, and your disappointments. I am not here to judge you, but to offer support. Lean on my shoulder, 
speak to me and feel my love. You are not alone in this journey. We will confront and conquer all obstacles together. This is why I urge you today to place your trust in me. Bring your sufferings and needs to my throne of grace. I am here to provide solutions to heal, to protect, and to bring peace and prosperity to all areas of your life. Remember when the wicked think of prosperity, they imagine material wealth, but I speak of a richer, prosperity wisdom, spiritual growth, courage and strength to face and vanquish your adversaries. I grant you the intelligence and confidence to open doors to work diligently and to excel in your endeavors. You will harvest bountiful fruits, enabling you and your family to share your blessings with those who are thirsty in need and hungry. I will always love you, and I am forever here for you, even when belief feels beyond your grasp. This message is for you who engage with my words daily, despite the chaos you see unfolding around you. You are stepping into a new era of blessings. You and your family are securely held in my hands. Continue to be persistent, faithful and courageous as I have instructed, and I will bestow upon you immense blessings. You currently reside in a world filled with trials where changes occur abruptly, and without warning, life can be complex, presenting challenges that seem insurmountable, yet know that Proverbs 3, 5-6. This verse teaches us the importance of trusting God fully and not relying exclusively on our own understanding or wisdom. We, we often face situations in life where we cannot see the solution or understand what is happening in those moments. It is crucial to remember that God has a greater plan for us and that He is in control of all things. Trusting the Lord with all our heart means giving Him all our worries, fears, and doubts, believing that He is taking care of us when we recognize God in all our paths. We are seeking His guidance and direction in every decision we make and every step we take. This trust and recognition result in God straightening our paths, guiding us along the right path, freeing us from errors, and leading us to a destiny of blessings and prosperity. This verse encourages us to abandon self-sufficing efficiency and trust in the infinite wisdom and perfect love of God. It reminds us that even when we do not understand the paths we are traveling, we can be certain that God is working for our good, and guiding us towards a future full of hope and purpose. Sometimes life is difficult, but I am here to help you overcome those challenges. I, I am the peace that calms the storms and the light that drives away the darkness. Open your heart to me, and I will fill it with hope, joy, and tranquility. Let me be the force that sustains you and the refuge where you find shelter. Trust me like a child trusts their father. Let me enter your life and make a difference. Believe that I can transform your situation and bring the joy you desire. I am at the door. Knocking the decision to open is yours. Let me in, and I will be the answer to your prayers. The hand that guides your path. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. Acknowledge Him in all your ways, and He will make your paths straight. Proverbs 35-6 This verse teaches us the importance of fully trusting in God and not relying exclusively on our own understanding or wisdom. We often face situations in life where we cannot see the solution or understand what is happening in those moments. 
It is crucial to remember that God has a greater plan for us and that He is in control of all things. Open your heart to me, and I will fill it with hope, joy, and tranquility. Let me be the force that sustains you and the refuge where you find shelter. Trust me like a child trusts their father. Let me come into your life and make a difference. Believe that I can transform your situation and bring the joy that you so desire. I am at the door, and I call the decision to open is yours. Let me enter, and I will be the answer to your prayers, the hand that guides your path. Final prayer. Beloved God, Heavenly Father, Today we bow before you with hearts full of gratitude. We recognize your greatness, love, and faithfulness in our lives. We want to express our gratitude for the financial blessings that are to come and for your word that strengthens us. You are the provider of all things, and we know that your blessings are not only in the spiritual realm, but also encompass the practical areas of our lives. Today, we are grateful for the financial blessings that approach. We recognize that it is your generosity and wisdom that guide our steps and open the doors of success and prosperity. Father, we know that your word is true, strengthening and guiding us. We are grateful because every word of encouragement and comfort that we find in the scriptures renews our faith reminding us of your unconditional love and your unlimited capacity to bless us. Today, we want to praise and thank you for each promise contained in your word. We thank you for your constant care for your abundant provision and for your faithfulness in fulfilling each of your promises. We trust that your financial solutions are on the way ready to transform our lives and allow us to live with abundance and generosity. At this moment, we deliver our dreams and financial needs into your powerful hands, knowing that you are capable of doing infinitely more than we ask or think. Trusting in you, we surrender to your plans and purposes in all areas of our lives, including the financial area. Help us to be good stewards of the blessings that will be entrusted to us. Give us wisdom to use the resources that we will receive with generosity and responsibility. Finally, we thank you for loving us unconditionally. Your love is our strength and sustenance at all times. Give us faith to trust in you. Even in times of uncertainty and financial challenges, Fill us with your peace that transcends all understanding, allowing us to rest in you, knowing that you are our loving Father who cares for every detail of our lives. In the name of Jesus, our Savior and Provider, we pray and thank you. Amen. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to reach 5,000 divine subscribers very soon. Please share this video to your loved ones. Type Amen to affirm. Thanks for watching.